You was walking around this party like you don't know what happens when the sun goes down and the moon comes up. The blunts go round, everybody getting drunk all night. You know we put it down, put it down all night. Hey, we go fuck around, fuck around. All What's night. good, you two? That would two here back again once again. And today, people, today we're here for episode number six of our Pokemon Sun and Moon Let's Play. I'm still riding the hype train and super duper excited to continue, especially because we are finished exploring how Holy City, or at least most of it, and we're going to head down to the Marine today to see what Team Skull is up to. So if you guys are hyped for this episode, air quotes if you're a problem with the Nappy Nation, because you already know can't nobody let's play a motherfucking game like the Nappy Nation can let's play a game, make sure you smash the like button down below for us because you already know your support is greatly appreciated. Now let's get a quick team recap of your your star players. Up first, we have our child, my child, the quick call holding Frankie the Pop Leo, Modest Nature, JK, I wish it was Modest Nature, Brave Nature, Pound Water Gun Growl, and Disarming Voice. Then we have Hugh Mungus, our Muck Muck, our Grimer, with Poison Touch, Rock and Pound, Poison Gas, Harden, and Bite. He has Relaxed Nature as well. So let us go ahead without any further ado, skedaddle down the way here. Look at us in our all white. Look at us in our all white, too fresh to death. Nothing less, god damn it. Mm, so fucking clean. Oh, hello. In this city, we're proud to live together with Pokemon, and that's why we have so many patches of tall grass right here in the city. Young Elima and his Smeargle are always working hard to keep the gates around the grass looking tip-top as well. Captain should be responsible types after all. So Elima has a Smeargle. That, I don't fucking like. I don't fucking like Elima. Plus, I feel like he, he speaks down to me. He talks down to me, and I don't, I don't appreciate that either. Okay, so we explored all of this already. We did not explore the police station, though. There's some advice, trainer. If you're gonna stand up to tough opponents, then be willing to use items on your Pokemon. You can help them get stronger. Alright. Thanks for that. <laughs> Swag, bitch. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to how I'm supposed to reply to that. We already checked out that patch of grass as well. That's where we actually got humongous. I wanna know what this is. Stuffed doll, everyone's favorite grandma making a scary face. Why is it purple though? I don't know how it is in other regions, but things are pretty peaceful here in Alola. If you do anything too bad after all, you'll bring the wrath of the guardians down upon you. Yo. <laughs> what is it like to be in fear of deities? What is it like to live in fear of deities? Jesus. I mean, I, imagine if our own world acted like that today. Like, if you, if you cut up, then, like, everything just rains down on you. Like, Zeus shows up and just strikes you with a bolt of lightning. You got a real sweet kind of face, don't you? I bet old ladies like to give you candy. Like, give me that poo. That poo. That we got a super potion. That's our first super potion. God damn. Oh, hello, Mr. Corsola man. Can I talk to you? The ocean around Alola looks so huge and endless, thank but thanks to the great fairy system, you can get to the next island in no time. Bro, I like how you can talk to the guy. You don't have to be all the way up there. That seems like that, that like a little annoying aspect of the Oh, that's a Lima. Hold on. That seems like an annoying aspect of the game that Pokemon would not like include. But I'm so glad they did. That's dope. Defense is everything in battle. If you use an next defense and your opponents will bounce right off, you get one to try for yourself. See? Talk to everybody in the game. I'm telling you guys, you gotta talk to everybody. You never know. You never fucking know. You give us an next attack? Bro? 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 I'll gladly take any item you wanna give me. Alright, so before we speak to Alima, because we heard so much about Alima. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Finally, I'm here to see you. Is the ferry working, my dude? I'm very sorry for the inconvenience, but the ship's undergoing regular maintenance now. Ah, oh, so this is where we're gonna go to go to a different island. Mm. Completely sold out. You can't do shit here. But just to look there and for oh, you're useless. This whole place is fucking useless. Why put him in the game? All right, Alima, you have my attention. Oh, greetings. It's me, Captain Alima. <laughs> yo, 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 check it. Whenever, wherever. I didn't click A. What the hell? So, Cap, just give up the punk, yo. Or the Pokemon, yo. I like how the music... Changes right back to peaceful. Oh, mm, you from the trainer school already made your way to how only mm. niggas. 
what, what? Why are you trying to act hard when we already hard as bone out here, homie? Yo, the game said, homie, we hard as bone out here, homie. Yo, let's check these fools. Oh, my. How terrifying. <laughs> Only thieves steal people's Pokemon. I <laughs> won't stand for it. <laughs> Nappy, was it? Or <laughs> Nigel? Or Nicholas? <laughs> I'll ask you to take care of that one, please. I'll get rid of this one. <laughs> like how he stops and just stares at me like, nigga, what? Oh, a battle against a team skull, numb skulls, and the marina count me in! Nigga, what? Like, you're, you're here with me. Yo, check out I changed the game with my mad Pokemon skills, nigga. Yo, what would you do if team skull just dropped the N-bomb out of nowhere? Bro! Team skull is so dope! <clears throat> Challenge by Team Skull Grunt. Let's go. We got Zubat. We got Zubat. Yeah. Look at that Zubat. Look at that Zubat. Oh, we got Zubat. Look at that Zubat. Yeah. 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 Quick claw. Yeah. Get it. Yeah. Yeah. Get it. Get it. Fuck up in the ass. Yeah, astonished? Maybe if that quick claw hadn't popped, you would have got that flinch off though. We don't even need the quick claw, we got speed. We're four levels above him. Suck a dick, ho. Bro! Yo, I love Frankie. Frankie is the absolute best. I love Frankie so, so much. Frankie is awesome. <laughs> For real? Over already? Aw, oh, man. God damn it! We fucking suck ass. No fair! I was playing a different game! I think it dipped. Let's get about this point, B! Nobody has to know about this! We don't need your whack ass Pokemon anyway, Lima! Yeah, nigga, you right! We out this piece. Such gangsters. Again. Oh, oh my. How terrifying. <laughs> My thanks to you and your Pokemon. Why don't I heal your team to express my gratitude? <laughs> I must admit, I've been wondering about you since I saw you at the trainer's school. <laughs> Professor Kukui brought you along and your Pokemon seemed to defeat our teacher so effortlessly. <laughs> Very well then, allow me to see if you're ready for my trial. <laughs> Are you an ass whooping? You try to get that ass waxed. Behold the magnificent Pokemon of the one and only Captain Elima. <laughs> Bro, you try to get that little pretty boy, I'll destroy you, my dude. Look at this nigga. You were challenged by Captain Alima. We about to get fucked. We about to get blown back. Check it. It's not a Nuzlocke. I can use revives. He's got a young goose. He's got a young goose and a... Watch well, it be like level 16. Young goose and a Smeargle. Level 9. All right, my guy. Check this out. Frankie! Water gun attack! Yeah. Oh, that does not do enough. Oh no, the strats are real. Our defense is being lowered. Oh no. I should have growled and lowered his attack. Are we going for the kills? Are we going for the kills around here, my dude. Yo, watch the plays, watch the plays, watch the plays. Watch the plays. You watching? Suck a dick, nigga. Fuck you and your leers. <laughs> All right, humongous. It's your time to shine, my dude. Tackle. Oh, you would have thought, my dude. Uh, 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 uh. That does a lot. Bro, bite his ass. He's gonna leer. Bite his ass. 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 <laughs> Poison touch, poison touch, poison touch, poison touch. Yes! That's what I'm talking about! Fuck you, Alima! Stupid fucking 
bougie, snobby ass bitch. Spamming Leer. Spamming Leer. <sighs> what a bitch. Frankie's on 13. Frankie about to evolve. Smeargle? Oh, yes, it's time. Oh, yes, it's time. You bring your ace. You bring your child against mine. Could you imagine that? Two parents pitting their kids against each other. Child fighting. Yeah. Come on, Frankie. You got this. You got this, buddy. What's a smear going to do to you? He's going to sketch water gun? He's going to sketch your water gun right back. 20 bucks. Yo, on the off chance he does that, I'm just going to growl. What? Bro! You son of a bitch! He's got to move. He's got leafage. What the fuck? I wasn't expecting that. That's Rowlet's move. Bro! That's alright, it's not stabbing. It's coming from a weak ass fucking smeargle. Suck a dick, bitch. We're not going down to the likes of you. Not today, not any other day. Go ahead, catch this potion, Frankie. I, th I think we can live in the leaf edge as well. This nigga is out for blood. What did I do to you, Alima? This isn't even your fucking trial, and you're sitting your body in my mind. What the fucking asshole you are. That's why no one likes you. No one but your family likes you, dude. The teacher only puts up with you. Because she's the teacher. She has to be nice to you. <laughs> Look at him in the background. He's like, come on, Smeargle. Come on, you can do it, buddy. All right, we're going to put it all on the line right now. Quick claw! Leafage. Yeah! Frankie, my child! Come get this pizza! Come get this ice cream! It's all on me tonight! We're taking you to Chuck E. Cheese! Damn it! Humongous grew to level 9. Uh-huh. Oh, yes, you have emerged victorious! Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh! Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh! You, or should I say your Pokemon, uh -huh. make quite the interesting team. Uh -huh. I hope you'll do come to the Verdant Cavern and attempt the trial. The trial of Alima! Uh -huh. You can get there from Route 2. That Rotom Dex of yours will show you the way. Uh -huh. I bid you all along. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Route 2 is just too exciting to miss today. There is two wit, two plus two buildings to find. What the fuck did he just say? I don't know what he just said. I have no clue what he just said, but I do want to heal my mons. I'm very proud of Frankie. Frankie put in the absolute fucking work against that dickhead. Fuck him. Fuck Aleem. I hope all the trial captains aren't assholes like him. Bro, I mean, curve you real quick. Go up in here and heal my goddamn Pokemon. And yo, shout out to Humongous as well. Y'all saw that, how Humongous put in the work? Humongous did the fucking job, my dudes. He's about to hit level 10, too. Oh, he just hit level 9. Well, I guess 9's close to 10. So he's about to hit level 10, too, goddammit. I don't know where how old these cemetery is at, though. I wonder where. I wonder where. Oh, wait for me, Nappy. Bro. I'm busy, ho. I'm busy. Oh, I'm glad to see a familiar face. I always get lost so quickly. I can't figure out the roads here. I can't even buy my own clothes. Nigga, it's two roads. But you, you're moving on to your first trial? You're going to Verdant Cavern? I read something in an old book once. It said that the island challenges were once a journey made to prove yourself and gain the strength to battle against the guardian deities of Alola, like Tabu Koko. The people in Iki Town said that Tabu Koko loves Pokemon battles, didn't they? If we could meet Tapu Koko once more, do you think we would find the answer to why it saved you and Nebby that day, Nebby? Because he knew I was destined for greatness, nigga. Ain't got nothing to do with you. Nebby, good luck on your first trial. I hope, I will hope that it goes well for you. Bro. I think I see something in front of Route 2, something I really didn't want to see again. Oh, this fucking Tauros. Hey, oh, Nappy! I've got this ornery creature calmed again for now. Won't you try giving him a little pot again? That's the only way he'll get used to you. Is this how they like slowly introduce Pokemon riding? Or Poke Ride? Maybe Old Toyota can feel your love for Pokemon. He sure seems happy to know you. And yet, 
It still seems to me like Toros wants to stretch his legs on his own island challenge. Ha! What? You want to play tag now? The Mele Mele Kahuna never loses friend! This nigga ran off after a Toros. What do you think there is be- I don't give a fuck, bro. Don't stop talking to me. I can't wait to see it all. We're on Route 2 now. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Careful out here, young trainer. Have you seen the way the grass shakes on Route 2? The rustling grass hides a Pokemon that is dying to pounce on some easy trainer target. But battling those feisty creatures can be worth it. They can sometimes drop items after battle. Well, that trainer can suck a dick. Don't tell me it's going to go away like a 5th gen. What is this? What is this? What is this? Rattata! Nobody gave you permission to show the fuck up. Oh my god, they are level 10. Hold on. I wasn't ready for this. I wasn't ready! I wasn't ready! Get blasted. How did it live? How did you survive? You better not flinch, Frankie. Thank you. I was gonna say, you better fucking not. You better fucking not. You better fucking not. You better fucking not. No, no, you better fucking not. Ah! Bro! What? I'm disappointed. I'd be lying if I wasn't. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't. I'm disappointed. I thought it was going to be something wild. Some wild new encounter or something, and it's just a fucking Makuita. Like, bro, take a fucking hike, my dude. Take a fucking hike, my dude. This nigga ran at me in the grass. This nigga ran at me in the grass. Oh, I meant to care. I meant to care for my Pop Leo. I gotta take care of him. It's my child. It's my child. It's my child. It's my fucking child. Alright, so let me uh, use this potion here on you my dude let me use that potion on you my dude and I'm still it seems it does not seem like the experience share does the same amount uh, of or gives the same amount of experience as before seems like they've nerfed it a little bit because before like in six gen that shit came out and that just it gave you so beauty crystal Ooh, that's what we saw in the school it gave you so much experience across the oh it's a ghastly <gasps> Yo, Humongous is a dark type. We got this. Don't look at the ghastly. I didn't even think about that. In the Holy Graveyard, we're supposed to get a Drifloom. What if they have ghastlies? Yo, Humongous is well trained. We've been putting his training to work. Go ahead, buddy. Go ahead. What are you spiting? What are you spiting? Mm. Good job, Humongous. What a well trained Grimer. What a well trained I told you it was about to hit level 10 too. What a well trained Grimer. My dude. My dude. What a well trained Grimer. I bet you can't finish any trial. Her titty about to pop right out. They didn't put any cleavage on her either. Like, you don't see it. She's got breast assistances, but you don't see any cleavage. So, what the fuck is popping up here, my dudes? Well, I was gonna say, don't tell me you want to battle. You look like a fucking dumpling. You look like a Makuita. You built like a Makuita. If you go ahead through that grass here, you can reach the cemetery where Pokemon rest. Many trainers visit to pay their respects. Here? Or the other way? Oh! Oh! This is where the, the catching tr trial thing was at before. Oh, this nigga wants to battle automatically. Alright, so let's see. Can we get a Drifloon? Because number one, that'll complete that mission, and it'll go towards the other one. Oh, it's a ghastly. A wild ghastly. There's a part of me that wants to use it, but I already know if I do, everyone's gonna cry and complain. Nappy uses a Ghastly and a Gengar in every LP. Oh my goodness. It's my favorite Pokemon. Like, can, you, can I have that one thing? Like, even if, even if, like, I don't even know, whatever. 
We're not, we're not gonna use them. We're not gonna use them. I want to use seventh gen Pokemon more so than anything else. But still, like, I feel like that should be the one thing that you should let me have. You do get experience for catching Pokemon. I feel like that should be the one thing you should let me have. Is my favorite fucking Pokemon, my mascot. Like a gas. The first gas we encountered. We didn't harm it either. We just straight up caught it. Should a strange light be seen flickering in an abandoned building? Ghastly is lurking there. Uh -huh. Give this Ghastly a nickname. It's male. So it will be Cheshire. We have Cheshire the Ghastly. Now, I still want to get a Drift Loom over here. I still do want to see if we can't get a Drift Loom over here. I don't mind battling these punks. These punks that are around. Let's check out Cheshire. It's lonely natured. See, Ghastly and Haunter have Levitate, but they took Levitate off of Gengar in this gen. And it's most likely because of all the new terrain moves they introduced, and it's also probably to match his actual sprite, because Gengar is not actually floating in his sprite, he's standing on the ground. Which I think is it's stupid. It's a stupid notion, it's a stupid idea, it's a stupid concept. Just let him have Levitate, why is that such a big deal? When I come to the Pokemon Cemetery, it's no good because I get so mournful. Oh, I meant to swap! I meant to swap Humongous out front, since he's a dark type. And you know, in the cemetery, they're all gonna have ghost types. Office worker Jeremy, he looks way too happy. You're in the middle of a goddamn cemetery, my dude. JK, that's not a ghost type. It's a lowland diglet! Look at him! <laughs> Look at him! What a dweeb! What a fucking... Oh, I clicked run, what the fuck? What a dweeb! What the fuck do we? Yes, use your metal claw. Use that resisted move against me, please. Please. Catch this fucking water gun, my dude. <laughs> Diglett that looks so stupid, my dude. Good thing we didn't swap. Oh, he was he was putting on a front. We made him cry again. You done, my dude? You done? Bro? Are you gonna challenge me to a battle over the fucking hedge? Get over yourself, my dude. I'm still looking for a drift. I feel like drift looms are like rare. TM 100 confide. That's the that's the highest one. Yeah, I feel like drift looms are gonna be somewhat rare. There's a ghastly again. I love how you can find so many ghastlies. I'm not even gonna lie. I love how you can find a, t a ton of fucking ghastlies. But I feel like drift looms are gonna be rare since she specifically asked for it. I hope it's not like fortune where you have to fucking come on a certain day and all this extra shiggity shiggity shig shig shig. That's a mischievous. No, you do. Still not the ghost type that we need. Still not the ghost type that we need, though. Catch this great ball though. Because I can add you to the collection for the other one. Have we caught 10 yet? Because we have Poplio, Grimer, Meowth, Magnemite. Ghastly. Mischievous will be 6. Right? I feel like we caught something more. I don't know. I can't remember off the top of my head. I could just check it in my Pokédex. But he just, he, I don't know if he said catch or see 10 different kinds of Pokémon. He just said 10. That's all I remember. But we call it Mischievous as well. And Cheshire, he's, that nigga, oh, Cheshire, he's not even in the party, but he's getting levels. All I want is the Drift Loom. That's it. 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 That hoe got registered. It will use any means necessary to frighten people and absorb their life energy. It practices constantly to hone its skill in causing fear. Huh. Well, I normally nickname all of my, uh... Mischievous and Miss Maggie is Alice, after Alice in Wonderland. Can I ask why? It just is. It just is. It just is. It just is. Alright, I'm gonna try and find this Drift Loom one more time. He needs to show the fuck up. That's a ghastly. What the hell? WTH It's not what we were looking for my dudes. It's not what we're looking for. I couldn't get away if you paralyze me. The animation for Lick 
I'm never going to run away now. <sighs> Look at that. We're going to be safe. But you literally just paralyzed my Pokemon for no fucking reason. Thanks, bro. Alright, one more attempt. Just to see. Just to see. A Zubat! A wild Zubat! Bro! I think he'll. I, oh yeah, I know it takes a summon voice, but I think he can definitely take a pound. Don't be using super effective moves against me, you dick. That was a crit! Fuck off! That's what I'm talking about. Alright, so. Toss this Pokeball. Again, because I'm just trying to I'm just trying to complete that dude's mission. I want to complete them all as we go along. Because it's a new game! It's a new game that we're playing. Like, like in future LPs and whatnot of Sun and Moon, I probably won't be this thorough. I probably won't want to go through and do all this. But if it's, it's our first time playing through it, I want to do everything the game has to offer. And if it's a little side quest like this, just catching Pokemon, yeah, I got you. I got you. Don't you worry, Frankie. Don't you worry, Frankie. Don't you worry, Frankie. I got you. I got you. Come on, Zubat, get the fuck off the screen. We're gonna go through this every single time. It sleeps in caves during the day. It has no eyes. So to check its surrounding while flying, it emits ultrasonic waves. We only got one name for a Zubat. And that is Fatbat. And that is Fatbat. Fatbat it is. Alright, look, I got you, big dog. Come on, come on, big dog. I got you. Don't stress. Don't fret. Don't stress. Don't fret. I got you. Hey. Now, you see, people might laugh at you when you do this, right? I'm going to give you a blue one this time. People might laugh at you when you do this, but you remember back to our fucking YLP when the game first came out and we took uh, Jupiter the Tyrantrum into Pokemon of Me? That nigga, he lived on one so many times. It was unbelievable. He lived on one so many times. So I ain't even mad about it. I ain't even mad about it. Alright, we're out of here. I want to give it one more chance, but we out. We outie. We outie, we outie, we outie, we outie, we outie. We're running out of time anyways. We out. Let's go. We'll come back in the next episode to battle these last two trainers and get that last item before we continue on to the trial. But... Drifloon is just being a bitch right now. I guarantee you. It's either there's some prerequisite that we're not completing for it to show up. Like either it's not it's a certain day of the week like it was before, or it's just a rare encounter and we're not encountering it. So it sucks. But it's the world we live in. Get the fuck away from this nigga. We are not interested. But yeah, with that, you guys, we're going to go ahead and rippity wrap up today's episode. I'm going to head back and heal. <laughs> I'm going to head back and heal. But we got to take on Alima. We got to take on Team Skull as well today. And uh, we're, we're catching a few new Pokemon too. So if you enjoyed today's episode, and of course, if you're a proud member of the Nappy Nation, make sure you smash the like button down below for us. Because you already know, can't nobody let's play a goddamn game like the motherfucking Nappy Nation can. And of course, all your support is greatly appreciated. But look at that! Look at that! That's three new mons we caught just now. That's wild. That's wild. We got to be close to that goal. Let me see. Let me see. How many do we have in the PC? We got two. That's three. Four. Nope. Four. Bro. Five. Lacks of inner focus. Six, seven, eight. What the fuck? Jesus Christ. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah! Three more. Anyways, yeah. With that, I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here. Thank you guys so much for your support and thank you for checking the video. But we are out this bitch. Bye!